Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, January 4, 2021. Happy New Year, everybody, and welcome back. So we'll, if you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to the full technical analysis for the commodities market. And that's basically all of the commodities that are available over um, here on eToro. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, the last uh, end of um, 2020, we had quite a big rally, roughly half a percent in the US dollar index. So we have been depreciating for a very long time now. You have to go all the way back in March 2020, where we hit these highs here, roughly 104. And now we just basically collapsed down to 89. And this collapse will just continue. Um, um, into the future. So rallies up towards the 20, uh, moving, uh, 20 exponential moving average are basically selling opportunities at this point. So we may see this rally further up towards the 20, similar to this, and then break down even further. If we break uh, these previous lows, then we are going significantly lower. We are getting fairly overstretched to the downside and therefore a pullback towards the 20 exponential that is fairly likely at this point. And therefore, you can expect indices to fall, uh, stocks, commodities, and so on, and, and, and so on. So let's look at oil. So oil is trading at 48.42 at this point. Uh, we are basically trading sideways, but it is expected to go higher. So 50 is the target uh, for oil, where I think most... Uh, a lot of sellers will come back in and basically uh, push this uh, even further down. Probably go and test the 50 at that point, which is 43.5. But uh, 45 will also be quite significant support. But it will be interesting what basically happens when we get to 50. Probably 51. It usually always shoots a little bit. But if you look at technical indicators, they are all looking fairly, well, flat, if you basically say that. So MACD is... A little bit bearish, the um, uh, bearish, and uh, the stochastic is flat. The CCI is flat, and we are on the edge of being overbought. So pullbacks towards the twenty exponential. That is basically buying opportunities. Target is basically fifty. So it's roughly three dollars, and well, that is a fairly good trade. But expect a lot of noise when you get to the fifty. Um, I haven't ba basically been trading this for a very long time. Um, reason for that is because I think that there just isn't that demand for this price level at this point. The reason why we had this massive rally is due to, uh, well, speculation, uh, mainly due to the vaccine, expectations that the world, things are going back to normal, uh, which they are kind of, but it's going to take a very, very long time. And therefore, demand for oil just is not going to be uh, that very strong. And when the market basically figures that out, we may see a massive uh, pullback towards the downside. That's the, one of the main reasons why I have not been trading this is basically, as, basically because I think this is fairly overvalued at this current stage. So let's look at natural gas. So we fell towards the 200 moving average, which I expected, and then we had rallied. Um, this rally will, at this point, probably go towards the 220 exponential moving average and then break down again. I don't really see this going past the 20 exponential. Main reason is that January is not going to be as cold as people expected it to be. And uh, it is basically news that usually and uh, weather conditions that that get this market going to the upside. So if we had news that there's going to be very, very cold uh, January or February and, and so on, then we would see this market go absolute bananas. That just isn't the case. So we may be in a limbo here. We may pull back towards the 20 exponent from the 20 exponential back towards the 200. And if the 200 breaks, then we are going much much lower so probably down to 2.1 and 
and all the way down to these previous lows here, roughly 1.8, 1 1.7, and so on. So keep an eye on this. We are making lower lows. So this is just a pullback towards um, the 20 exponential. And that is basically what we have been doing for a very long time now, all the way back to November when we hit these highs. So we've been pulling back uh, pullbacks and rallies towards the 20, pullbacks again, and so on and so on. So this is just a continuation of this entire thing. Because due to the fact that we found support here at the 200 moving average does not mean that we are just going to turn around and head back towards the all-time highs. There's a lot of resistance in, in between here. So let's look at copper. So copper has found support here at the 20 exponential. So this is looking very interesting at this point. The 20 exponential has been very supportive in the past. And if this managed to, to show even further support, then we may see a rally here for copper. Target would be uh, uh, 3.6 uh, stop loss right underneath here. So this is a trade that I'm going to look at because copper just has been rallying quite nicely for a very, very long time. And this looks like a flag pattern that is occurring here. And we may see a rally to uh, much higher levels. Probably 3.7 will be the next target, 3.75, roughly here. So these single indicators are still very bearish. They need to turn around and then we can basically start buying into this. So let's look at gold. So gold has rallied uh, the last three days of uh, 2020. We are still on the edge of this uh, resistance line here, way right there. So if we manage to break through this resistance line, then we are going to cross 1900. We are going to test 1950, 2000, 2000, uh, 2050, and then also 2000 and and uh, and 100 so at this point um, if we see the us dollar start um, appreciating more we may see this pull back a little bit but this is going to be the test for for gold that is basically crossing this line and then that is a big sign that we are going to start continuing going much higher we could make the case that we are making uh, higher lows for example here and that this is the trend line or the corner that we're going to test. We have an additional corner down here, which is roughly this trade here. We could also pull back massively from this resistance line, head back towards this support line, and then go into this corner and then go higher. But if this resistance line breaks, then we are going significantly higher. That is basically a massive uh, sign that we are go but you basically could buy gold so let's look at silver so silver crossed that line a long time ago it has been testing these previous previous resistant area here for the last week or two and uh, that is going to be the challenge for silver is basically getting through this area here you can see that we are testing it we got almost to the top of this um, of this area, but broke down significantly. Um, at this point, I think that pullbacks towards the 20 exponential is, are basically the major buying opportunities for in this case. It looks like we are going to go higher. It looks also like that we're making higher lows here, 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 and then just going slowly continuation up. So both gold and silver are very bullish in the long run. These are two commodities that are used not just in manufacturing, but are used as a safe havens. And when the economy is not doing very well, this is what people uh, turn to. So let's look at platinum. So platinum rallied to these very highs here in the end of 2020 and then made this inverted hammer, which is usually not a very good sign. You can also make the case that we are basically doing a double top here and uh, we may have a pullback towards the 20 exponential in the next uh, few trading days. These technical indicators are also showing signs of weakness. 
they are all turning around at this stage. So pullbacks towards the 20 exponential, that is basically your buying opportunity. I think basically the floor in this market is the 1000. So this is as far, this area here is basically as far as this market will go. And this is also the previous highs here. And we have also found major support in the past. So pullbacks to the 20 basically are buying opportunities. If you fall further than that, then this is basically the bottom with a stop loss right underneath here and a target of these very highs. So let's look at Pallium. So we rallied significantly at the end of uh, last year's session, but we're still um, at nearly the top of this range. So what has happened in Pallium for, for the last few months, you can basically say, is that we've been trading at these very highs and these very lows. So we may see a continuation of this. If we find this being very resistant, this area here, and we're about to head back down, then it is a shorting uh, opportunity. We did have a fairly big pullback here um, at the end of the session. But if we turn around here, then the 50 is basically the target. And then you could also target these very lows. Usually when we have these major pullbacks here, we fall down. Uh, when we rally, I mean, we have these pullbacks and then we rally, pull back, and so on. So we're just going like a ping pong, like in between these two resistant and support lines. So at this point, we are getting fairly overstretched. Um, also, the the for example, the CCI is showing signs of this being very, very, very overstretched at this point. So expect a pullback here. But if we break this resistance line, then we are going significantly higher. So I hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button, the subscribe button there in the corner. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.